Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another end of business day roundup. And today was an interesting day. Um, I had a client who called in and said, I need a new email account set up. Now, sometimes when I book appointments, I don't know what's going to happen. I uh, People say one thing, they, they mean another, but she had some problems with some tasks in iCloud that weren't deleting, which is kind of common because iCloud, well, generally sucks. Okay, I'll just put it out there. I mean, iCloud works great on an iPhone only and whatever else it does only in the cloud, but um, for Outlook, it can break, and it can break pretty bad. So when a client calls and says, I got an iCloud issue, I'm like, okay, that could be a quick button, or it could be a lot of work, like two hours of work. And with my rates, it's pretty expensive. So sometimes with iCloud clients, I turn them over to Exchange, which is a nice, um, it's, a, it's a better upgrade to synchronize your contacts and calendar and tasks and uh, well, notes, whatever. So um, it's kind of funny with her. <laughs> I was gonna go fix a task, which I couldn't delete because it's broken. And uh, she's like, well, I got a new email account. So I'd like to get that set up. And it turns out that that new email account was uh, one from uh, that she just got set up um, with GoDaddy. And they all she had was the exchange. So I was like, oh, well, there we go. Why do you even need iCloud anymore? She's like, I don't know. And she doesn't even know anything about it because most clients don't know what Exchange really does. So if you're on GoDaddy and you purchase the Office 365, um, a lot of times they just sell you the email, just the, the, the simple plan. They don't say the full office. The full Office 365 is many, many, many products. So anyway, I was like, well, here we go. So we're just going to actually do uh, a new Exchange setup. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to import your contacts calendar and those uh, the good tasks that aren't broken. I'm going to import those over for you. And she's so cute. She's just kind of like, okay, whatever. But I think she was a little scared because a lot of people are tied to a program, you know. I said, just let me do my magic. So I needed some time, though. So I had to, um, not only did I have to fix her Outlook, or excuse me, um, do that, I also had to upgrade her Outlook because it was on 2010. And I was like, uh, the, the problem with that 2010 version was that it didn't have the anonymous authentication that it needs. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's my third problem that I had. Now, with Outlook 2010 not authenticating, uh, for exchange, you have to um, do a hotfix. If the hotfix doesn't work, then you should just upgrade. And I did try the hotfix because I keep, you know, the the two that are that I need didn't work. So I'm like, I'm not troubleshooting this when the better choice is to upgrade. Okay. So after I got her Outlook upgraded, then we got that all set up. Her her other accounts were working just fine. Then I went and took those uh, the good tasks out, put them on the exchange tasks and moved her contacts over, moved the calendar over, did some fine tuning, then helped her with her phone, removed all the iCloud. Whew, job well done. That was an hour and a half, but I got it done. And so for her, she got uh, three good services done for me for an hour and a half. So if you're out Googling right now, iCloud something, this is the title of this show, is the, the, the biggest tip is if you're using iCloud and it breaks, it's not easy to fix, okay? If you own a business and have a .com, move to Exchange. It's so much better, and it loves the iPhone. Loves the iPhone. Loves it, loves it. So uh, Android loves it too, but iPhone loves it more. Put it that way. Okay, so that was the first job I did. And then, let me look at my notes here. I had another client that does some uh, work for, uh, she, well, she's the assistant, and her two bosses wanted to have her do emailing for them on behalf. Well, you know, there's the on behalf option that Exchange lets you, you have. But she was having some struggles with some of the extra work that the bosses wanted. So I said, you know what you need to do is let's just give you full mailbox permission with their permission, of course. Then she can have access to their full everything. And to me, in a small business, that just makes more sense to have full everything if you, you know, trust your assistants. And this girl just started, so I said, why don't you do this for these two guys? Because I've known them a long time. I said, you're only a summer assistant. Why don't you document everything that you do for them? And at the end of the summer, they'll have notes and documentation on your job. And she was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And I said, I know, because documenting is important when you're, when you're in a temporary position for the next person. And I think that'd be very helpful for them. Okay.
now i think that was maybe it i i had a lot of video training i was doing today so today wasn't a big billable work oh i did have one more that's awesome is gmail not uh letting you set up an outlook and with that problem i should make a whole video on that alone hmm. well anyway uh you do need to click on a link to make the app uh get through on the device it's called secured apps or something like that with the uh, gmail I'll put that in my notes though. So if you're listening and you just happen to need that, it's a really good link that just, uh, you log into your Gmail and then you click on this link and it takes you right to the secured apps area. You can turn it off and then outlook will let you uh, set up outlook really nice or sorry. Outlook will let you set up the Gmail account. Oh, okay folks. That's it for today. I will check you out tomorrow. Remember if you need me for anything, you can call me at 612 eight, six, five, four, four, seven, five, or you can email me Lisa at call that If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe it. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.